Hello, welcome back to a new video, and today I'm being joined by Excalibur. Say hello. 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 <laughs> and we are raiding Kino do Toten. We finally got to this map, and it took it took a pretty good amount of time. We we're almost in Black Ops uh, 3. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We have 5 more maps left. So I hope to get this done. Did Black Ops 3 done before? Nope. I'd say this is probably gonna end like the first week of July with Black Ops 3. And then we're on to Exo Zombies, which is only one map. So right when we get past this game, we're gonna be jumping to games constantly. So yeah. it's about to get interesting in the next couple of weeks. So are you ready to get into the map? Yeah, hold on, wait, I'm doing a few things. Alright, so wait. I'll see you guys when we're in the map. Alright, we are in the map. So First thing I gotta say, this wasn't my first map I ever played. I know most people, this was their first map they ever played. This was actually, what? This is this was not your first map. I just said that. How dare you? This is this my. Th this was my second map I ever played. Cause my very first, my very first map I ever played was on five, the oh. Pentagon. And I know a lot of pe a lot of, there's a lot of mixed, like, things about that map on 5, but personally, it's, it's at least in my top 10 favorites. I don't, I don't love the map, but I don't hate the map at all, but it, 5 is for sure in my top, top 10 favorites. And by the way... If you guys are wondering why I'm not doing five, why well, I'm not doing due east, well, technically the giant is due east, so it's technically the same thing, and buried and all those, because I don't have a PS3 to record them on. So I'll tell you guys this if PS5 supports those old games like that, like Black Ops 1 and Black Ops 2, I would download and purchase all the DLC maps that I'm missing for the series that but I'm only doing it for those two I'll tell you that I'm not doing it for exo zombies I'm not doing it for World War 2 zombies I only do it for Black Ops 1 and 2 so I'll say that now I am um, I'm already considering it as of right now to get them but I'm gonna if PS3 I mean PS5 supports those games I will be uploading those ones like whenever like I get them pretty much. So, uh, can you come over here? Oh, I'm going. I'll be honest to you guys. It to for map design wise, I actually love this map design. I think this is one of the very few maps that I can say that with. I think Kino's map design is phenomenal. From start to finish. For me, that I don't like is the tight, how tight the alleyways are and the hallways. It's not that tight. Go, go, do you want to go play Verrucked? You can't even, you can't even move in that one. All you can do, all you can do is go back and forth, back and forward. Besides that, you're screwed. And with good, with good features, I'd say. It introduced the th it introduced the thunder gun. It introduced. I think there's the thunder gun. Oh, and it introduced uh, um, teleporting to like separate rooms in the map. Because it yes, Duis into Duis was the first map to have teleporter teleporters, but this was the first map that like teleported you to an area outside the map. Because we can go to Samantha's bedroom, Samantha's uh, demon bedroom, the doctor's office, in Verrucked, stuff like that. So, this was the first map to introduce all that. So, I have, that. that's something I can commend this map for doing. So, this map, it... It is one of the most popular maps in Zombies. It's up there with like, it's up there with Mob of the Dead. It's up there with um, like Origins, even though I hate Origins personally. 
But like those are like the I heard Origins Map of the Dead and Kino are the are the what everyone says are the best maps in this game. Yeah, but in like play wise it ain't that good. I actually Map of the Dead and Kino are good gameplay wise. And Origins is good cut cutscene wise. That that's the best that's like the only thing I can say about Kino about uh Origins. But this isn't Origins rating yet, so I will get to that when I get to it. And grab the max Grab the max ammo and come. Can you open this? Yeah, uh, that's like a thousand, right? Do you want to hit the box? Ooh, how much is it? Oh, I need the power. This is need the power first. Dang it! Where's the shotgun? I want that. Don't open that. Yeah, I'm never opening that ever again. That's I'll, I died. I'll open it, and then you open the next one. Okay. How much is the next one? Uh. Thirteen hundred. Fourteen hundred. I think it's the same amount. Okay. Okay, this will work. Oh, you got the new. Uh, oh, do we got monkeys coming in too? All right, open this. All right, do I have enough? Yes, I do. And round six, we have power. Yep. By the way, I figured out the shortest way to get here, Marlin. Do you know they're both the same amount of doors, right? Yeah. But I took I didn't know I took the I took the way that we you just did in this video pretty much. And, and I failed. Yeah, I usually go up I usually go from up there so I can open up a uh, speed cola. Uh -oh. Cause I don't like those little guys more than the, like those the thing is how I play this if I was playing this map how I usually play it. Oh, God, um on me. what I would do snuck up behind me. What I would do is I would oh, keep that. Wall. I can't turn to the right. What I'd do is I would keep that entire side closed, pretty much, until I needed it, pretty much. Oh, and I would keep that gate one. closed. But since it's just, just oh, get it, get to round ten and we're done, type of deal right here, pretty much. Mm -hmm. I I don't really care if I open it, if I'm being hundred percent honest with that. Oh. So. I usually keep that entire side closed and I usually go the other way so I can open up speed cola and I can keep that door over there closed so I can train properly over here. So that's that's usually how I play this map. But it doesn't really matter I at this series. I use the traps and everything because I just like some of them like the electric trap that's like right around your area more than where you at. I think I think it's on there's, the side, there's, right there's, there's no there's no trap over here. Well, that's good because I don't know which side it is. But There's a turret trap, trap like. which that when you get. I do not like. I don't like that. Uh, I'm on a power it. I died from that. I died for that. Do you okay. want me to turn it on? Because I have enough. It's you know you don't. Well, if I kill a few zombies, then I do. Yeah, turn it. I've I've never used that in this version of this map. Never, dude. It's I used. Nuts, I used it. I used it in Black Ops 1 a lot, but I never oh. I never even used it in this version. Not once. Well, you gotta be careful. Cause... It does hurt you. Cause I never seen the need to turn it on, pretty much. If that makes sense. I see. Oh, thank you, Marlin. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna... You're down already? Yeah, okay. I wasn't really paying it. Okay, I'll... Can we be fair? Oh, were you trying to revive me? Nope, because I got stuck on you. <laughs> I don't know why I got so, so close. I'll see you guys when we're back in the lobby. Alright, we are back in the lobby. I'm going to start the rating. I would say for fun. For fun, I'm going to give it... I do get bored with this map quite a bit. But I do have a lot of fun on this map. I get bored on this map by solo. But I have fun with like co-op with like people. So I'm probably going to give this, I think, fun, I'd say I'm going to give a 2 for me. And then good features, I'm going to give, it has a lot of good features, as I mentioned in the game that we played. So, it, it's an, one of the best and my favorite wonder weapon in all of Zombies. 
the Thunder Gun. The Thunder Gun is amazing. It's it's such a good gun that you cannot unsee it as a godlike gun zombies. So I'm gonna give good features a three. Map design, absolutely love this map design. Nothing I don't like about it. It's to the point, it's just simple. Every room feels like it's useful. Everything. You you can either train on the catwalk. I just said catwalk is in Dewey's. <laughs> you can either train on the, then the stage, was what I meant to say. You can camp in the, uh, in the, um, in the little uh, room with the box and the three barricades, have each person on a barricade, one person on the stairs. You could, as I usually do, camp at the gate before you go into that room. Or you can camp in the, uh, like, near uh, Jug, Juggernog, and the Bowie Knife. So there's a lot of different ways you can play this map. I usually camp, usually train. It depends what I, what I want to do. But... Map design, I'm gonna give it a three. Phenomenal map overall, pretty much. So, I'm I'm giving it a eight out of nine for my score. So, what is your score? Well, for me, for fun, um, I, for fun, I actually do like that catwalk area. You know, with the fence, Marlin. Yeah. Like that fence area. The like courtyard. Area. Yeah, the courtyard. So you got a whole bunch of stuff to watch, the, the box, the, the little stairs areas and stuff, yeah. and whatnot. That's why, like, I give that a three for that area and stuff. But so is that, so is that fun or good features? The features part. But for fun, I do like that little, you know, when we're in the stage and the teleporters and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to give that, a, I'm going to have to give that a three. Because okay. all that stuff that you do, you can do so many things, and like each different room does not have a boring part to do. Like you don't stand there. Yeah, every part of the map is useful in, in some way or yeah. another. They got like their own little bits of traps. Some areas do, but not all got their own little trap switch. You know? And it, and the rooms without a trap has like a perk or a really good weapon. Yep. That That's as well. Actually. And what well, would you say from that. map design? What map would you design, give? I'm probably gonna have to give it a two just because i don't like how like the space that you get like it could be big but then again it could be like shangri-la and with all that mess I, I, and I, if, if you're talking about small maps i would not resort to shangri-la's map design mostly mm -hmm. i would prefer to more of verrucked in a sense because oh verrucked is nothing but hallways in like a one way in, one way out entries usually. Oh god. So I would resort to more of saying Verrucked with uh, tight map design. Shangala, you do have caves, you do have those closed corners, but Verrucked is pretty much the entire map is like that, except for like two rooms at most. Oh yeah. No, actually, no, one room. One room oh. is big. The rest of the map is like, like a hallway size in your house. So. Oh. But yeah, for my final score for that, might have to be an 8. You're going to give 8 Sorry. out of 9? Yep, 8 out of 9. So we both got the same score, but we both... I took away on fun, he took away in map design. That's how we usually yep. do. So let me know in, your, in the comments below what you would rate the map, what your favorite gun is in this map. Because personally, Thunder Gun and uh, AK-74 are my... Are my uh, two favorite guns in this map. Yes, that gun's is from Black Ops 1, I know. But if we were in Black Ops 1, I'd be using that every day. So, hope you guys enjoyed. See you guys in the next one. Bye. Peace.